Hello. Welcome to Today in History, an AI podcast. I'm Steven. And I'm Ruth. We're the artificial intelligence hosts of this show. Every day, we'll tell you about the most interesting, consequential and sometimes forgotten facts in history that happened on this date. Politics, economy, war, religion, culture. One topic every day. Plus something that you would have heard on the news back then on this date. Also, about a holiday somewhere in the world, someone who was born and someone who died. Hope you stay with us. Please enjoy a few minutes to maybe get a little smarter and appreciate the enormity of every single day. Today is Monday, March 18, 2024. The year is 1892. Our main topic, Canadian Governor General Lord Stanley of Preston pledged to donate an award to Canada's top-ranked amateur ice hockey club, now known as the Stanley Cup, the oldest professional sports trophy in North America. Lord Stanley of Preston, the Governor General of Canada, made a generous offer in 1892 to donate a trophy to the top-ranking amateur ice hockey club in Canada. This trophy, later known as the Stanley Cup, has become the oldest professional sports trophy in North America, with a rich history that spans over a century. Context, at the time, ice hockey was rapidly gaining popularity in Canada, and Lord Stanley, an avid sportsman himself, recognized the need for a prestigious award to honor the best amateur teams in the country. He commissioned the Dominion Hockey Challenge Cup, which was later renamed the Stanley Cup, and presented it to the Montreal Hockey Club, the first winner of the trophy, in 1893. Historical significance, the Stanley Cup has become an iconic symbol of excellence in ice hockey, and its history is intertwined with the development of the sport itself. As professional teams began to emerge in the early 20th century, the Stanley Cup became the de facto championship trophy of the National Hockey League, NHL, in 1926 and the de jure NHL Championship Prize in 1947. Today, it is awarded annually to the NHL playoff champion, and its legacy continues to inspire hockey players and fans alike. The Stanley Cup's significance extends beyond the sport itself. It represents the spirit of competition, teamwork, and dedication that defines ice hockey. It has brought together communities and generations of fans, and its history is a testament to the power of sports in shaping our culture and society. In conclusion, the Stanley Cup is more than just a trophy, it is a symbol of excellence, tradition, and passion. Its history is a reminder of the impact that sports can have on our lives and the importance of preserving and celebrating our cultural heritage. The year is 2014. On the news, the parliaments of Russia and Crimea signed an accession treaty. In a move that has sent shockwaves throughout the international community, the parliaments of Russia and Crimea have signed an accession treaty, paving the way for Crimea to become a part of the Russian Federation. This development comes on the heels of a controversial referendum in which the majority of Crimean voters supported joining Russia. The annexation of Crimea by Russia has been met with widespread criticism and condemnation from the international community, with many countries viewing it as a violation of Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The United States, the European Union, and other Western powers have imposed economic sanctions on Russia in response to the annexation. The historical significance of this event cannot be overstated. Crimea has been a point of contention between Russia and Ukraine for decades, with tensions simmering beneath the surface. The recent events have brought these tensions to a boiling point, and the annexation of Crimea by Russia has raised concerns about the stability of the region and the potential for further conflict. It is important to note that the annexation of Crimea by Russia has been widely condemned by the international community, with many countries viewing it as a violation of international law. The United Nations General Assembly has passed a resolution calling for the territorial integrity of Ukraine to be respected, and the European Union has imposed sanctions on Russia in response to the annexation. As the situation in Crimea continues to unfold, it is clear that this event will have far-reaching consequences for the region and the world at large. It is our hope that all parties involved will work towards a peaceful resolution and a respect for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all nations. Our selected holiday for today, Christian Feast Day, Cyril of Jerusalem. Cyril of Jerusalem, a prominent theologian and bishop of the early church, is celebrated on his feast day, March 18th. 
His contributions to Christianity are significant, particularly in the areas of catechism and liturgy. Despite facing exile and opposition, Cyril remained dedicated to his faith and left behind valuable writings that continue to influence Christian practices today. Cultural significance, Cyril of Jerusalem's legacy is a testament to the enduring power of faith and perseverance. His dedication to his beliefs, despite facing adversity, inspires Christians around the world. His contributions to the development of catechism and liturgy have shaped the way Christians practice their faith, and his writings continue to be studied and revered. This holiday is an opportunity for Christians to reflect on the importance of their faith and the impact it has on their lives. It is also a time to remember the struggles and challenges faced by those who came before us, and to be inspired by their examples of perseverance and devotion. In a world where diversity and inclusivity are increasingly important, it is essential to recognize and respect the cultural and religious significance of holidays like Cyril of Jerusalem's Feast Day. By embracing and celebrating our differences, we can foster a deeper understanding and appreciation of the rich cultural heritage that makes up our global community. In conclusion, Cyril of Jerusalem's Feast Day is a celebration of faith, perseverance, and the enduring power of belief. It is a reminder of the significant contributions made by this remarkable individual and a testament to the impact that one person can have on the world. On this day, in 1813, Christian Friedrich Hebel, German poet and playwright, d. 1864, was born. Christian Friedrich Hebel was a renowned German poet and playwright, whose literary works have left a lasting impact on the world of literature. Born in 1813, Hebel grew up in a humble household, where his father worked as a clergyman. Despite the financial struggles, Hebel's parents encouraged his love for literature and the arts, which would become the foundation of his future success. Hebel's early career began as a tutor, but he soon turned his attention to writing, and his first play, Judith, was published in 1841. The play was a huge success, and it quickly established Hebel as a rising star in the literary world. He went on to write numerous plays, including The Nibelungen and Agnes Bernauer, which cemented his reputation as a master playwright. In addition to his work in the theater, Hebel was also a prolific poet. He wrote several collections of poetry, including youth's fancies and poems, which showcased his lyrical and emotional style. His poetry was often inspired by nature, love, and the human condition, and it resonated deeply with readers. Throughout his life, Hebel was recognized for his literary achievements. He was awarded numerous honors and accolades, including the prestigious Schiller Prize, which he received in 1857. Hebel's work also had a significant impact on the literary world, influencing many other writers and poets who came after him. Despite his success, Hebel's life was not without challenges. He struggled with personal demons and financial difficulties, which often made it difficult for him to focus on his work. However, Hebel's passion for literature and his dedication to his craft never wavered, and he continued to write until his death in 1864. Today, Hebel's legacy lives on through his works, which continue to be studied and admired by readers and scholars around the world. His contributions to literature have had a lasting impact, and he remains an important figure in the history of German literature. In conclusion, Christian Friedrich Hebel was a talented and influential poet and playwright, whose works have stood the test of time. His dedication to his craft and his passion for literature have left a lasting legacy, and he will always be remembered as one of the greatest writers in German literary history. We remember the life of Carrie Deason, Norwegian singer and review actress, born 1914, who died on this date in 1987. Carrie Deason was a talented Norwegian singer and review actress who captivated audiences with her powerful voice and charming stage presence. Born in 1914, Deason began her career in the entertainment industry in the 1930s, working for the review theater Chat Noir from 1937 to 1953. She later joined the Ederkoppen Theater, where she performed from 1954 to 1959. Deason's impressive vocal abilities and charisma quickly made her a fan favorite, and she became one of the most popular singers in Norway. She was known for her unique interpretation of songs, which often added a touch of humor and playfulness to her performances. Her version of Havaduen remains one of her most iconic and beloved recordings. In addition to her successful music career, Deason also made her mark in the film industry. She appeared in 24 films between 1941 and 1985, showcasing her versatility and talent as an actress. 
Her performances were often praised for their warmth, humor, and depth. Throughout her career, Deeson was recognized with numerous awards and accolades for her contributions to music and entertainment. She was a trailblazer for women in the industry, paving the way for future generations of female performers. Her legacy continues to inspire and delight audiences to this day. Despite her passing, Carrie Deeson's memory lives on through her impressive body of work. Her music and films continue to be celebrated and enjoyed by fans of all ages, and her impact on Norwegian entertainment history is undeniable. She will always be remembered as a true icon and a beloved figure in the world of music and theater. This was Today in History, an AI podcast. Brought to you by Decor Studios. All content was sourced from Wikipedia and processed with open source large language models. This podcast is released under Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 4.0 International License. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you tomorrow.